I know I'm sending you a really big hug honey because I was like oh Idol's probably gonna be the last time I'll talk to her before she has the baby but no here we are no I'm at that place where I feel like I have been pregnant I actually said to my doctor um well now I'm 58 weeks pregnant and I didn't mean it I was like I thought I was 58 weeks pregnant um and everyone had a laugh um but yeah, I feel like I have been pregnant forever, but people forget you have to cook a baby for 10 months. Exactly, people get it straight. And yeah, you hello. Yes, but you look radiant and ever so fashionable. Uh, just your true Katy Perry self, I feel like it. I mean, really, you've been rocking crop tops, girl. Look at your 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 headpiece that you got on today. The daisies, of oh, course, darling. I'm still trying, I'm still working. I'm. It's nice to be able to, um, you know, not look at the hands of time roll by. And I'm so excited for both deliveries, both obviously the child and obviously the record. And yeah, it's, you know, I think 2020 may have a silver lining for me. Yeah, I think it, it does. It gives you definitely reason to smile. And speaking about- <laughs> Girl, hey, look at you. you played into that. Woo! Okay, and look at that album cover. I love it. So good. Thank but you. But here you are smiling. You're finally able to put out this album to the world. It must feel great because you did have to delay it due to the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, I think anyone that's made plans in 2020 has had to do a little bit of the pivot dance. Yeah. And really, I think it's about going with the flow. And this year is somewhat about surrender and i know in my personal life i'm gonna have to surrender and it's definitely you know bled it over into my uh professional life and i'm just grateful that i get to do it this summer it's a summer record it's full of hopefulness it's full of light and joy and it's not just you know taking up space and noise but now I got I hope that uh, these songs, which I wrote, you know, going through one of the darkest times in my life, could be inspirational to anyone else that's going through whatever they're going through. Because music has always been that for me, so. I know, I feel like at times you just break it down and it's raw, and then other times it's like about love. Sometimes you just wanna like jam in the middle of a club. Like, I feel like you go through all sorts of emotions on this Not ballad. a lot of ballads on this. There's maybe one ballad actually. It's um, kind of a mid-tempo, it ends the record. It's called What Makes a Woman. Uh -huh. um, so yes, it's an up, up, up. It's a, you know, it's a serotonin for the ears moment. It must definitely is, girl. So it must be it must be feeling so great for you to get this out there. And I feel like this has been the busiest I feel like I have ever seen you. We've seen you kick off space launches. We've seen you, you know, get the vote out there or encourage people to vote. We see you on Idol. You're releasing an album. And you're birthing a child, mama. I mean, I mean, yeah, like respect <laughs> women. <laughs> we can do it all. Um, I know we can. But are you planning on settling down and slowing down at all, you and Orlando, before you give birth to your daughter? I, th I think so. I think I'll have to. I think just physically, I'm holding on to the railings of stairs a lot harder than I was. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I know that it's all going to come to a screeching halt uh, very, very soon. So I'm kind of packing it in as much as I can. But, um, you know, I, I think a lot of the heavy lifting figuratively goes before the record and then the record comes out and people just enjoy the record. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't know who's gonna come first, her or the record, we'll see what kind of headlines she wants. She wants a, she wants to be the opener or the closer. <laughs> I have a feeling she does not follow, you know, yeah. she might I don't know, but I don't know how she sees it. <laughs> it's going to be so good nonetheless. Yeah. Now, I must remind you, so this album drops August 28th. Now, a few days before August 24th, you'll be celebrating the 10th anniversary of Teenage Dream. Teenage Dream, the way you turn me on. I can't sleep, let's run away and don't ever look back. Your iconic album, so when you think back, 
on Teenage Dream. Tell me, darling, what do you think? Does it look 10 years, do I look 10 years older? No, time has been very good to you. <laughs> um, time and doctors. Um, <laughs> no, I'm excited for the record to come out, for Smile to come out around the same type of uh, energy is of teenage dream. Of course, that was a different time. It was 10 years ago and um, the whole world has changed most definitely. Um, but I feel like you have changed because I feel like we still have these empowering, hopeful songs on Smile. We had them obviously on Teenage Dream with Firework and Teenage Dream. And but <sighs> how do you feel like you yourself have evolved musically, personally? Uh yeah, I mean, personally, I think everyone changes from their 20s to their 30s. Oh, yes. Um, whether you like it or not. It's almost like, you know, the ideas that you had about yourself when you were a young teenager, like 14, 15, 16, and you were so dead set about them, they change when you turn 21, 22, 23. It's just, that's the growth, um, which is great. I think that I'm so proud of everything that I've been able to put out, and I love it, and I love that you know, Teenage Dream became like a real cool marker uh, for numbers or whatever, but I definitely don't live in that headspace anymore and have, you know, a little bit more dimension and life. And, you know, I'm experiencing all of it. Like I'm not just on the uh, pop star rodeo. But you know, I, I, I like I like jumping on and then jumping off every once in a while. <laughs> and making that pop star rodeo your own. You yes, ma'am. Pop star rodeo is my own. I'm yes, so happy for it. It sure is. Now you're giving birth to this album, giving birth to your daughter, of course, as we've mentioned. Uh, what do you look forward to most about raising your daughter? Um, I look forward to well, first and foremost, you know, it's an interesting thought to have like that there's finally one thing in your life that like you can't just set aside or turn off or decide that today is not the day you're going to deal with it. Right. So that's like that's that's both both comforting and knowing that there's that forever anchor and it's probably a little like scary, you know, to go, "Oh, well, this is a commit this is the commitment of the life," you know? Um, forever, forever, ever, ever. Um, but there's beauty in that because, you know, it's like unconditional love. And I'm just excited to be able to, um, you know, raise her in a different way that I was raised and to um, let her think for herself and have choice and, you know, discover and just, you know, just lean into the magic of life and, and, and probably, you know, dress like whatever she wants to dress like for Halloween. That's going to be really, really important. I was never allowed to go trick or treating uh, or no, or dressing up. That's probably why I make up for it so much. Yeah. Um, I was in church girl, you know all about it. I do. I do. So, but no, but I mean, I'm excited. I'm going to just, we're, we're here to support her. And, um, you know, a, a lot of people have asked me, are you going to like go away or whatever? And I'm like, I mean, doesn't Beyonce have like three kids and she's still putting out black as King, wow. you know, like she's doing the best. She, her whole life is amazing. I don't feel like you have to choose between what you love and what you love. And for me, this doesn't feel like work. It feels like just, you know, it, something that really makes me happy. And I would hope that my happiness is her happiness and her happiness is my happiness. Oh, I love that, Katie. You <laughs> just blossomed into this incredible woman and incredible mom to be. And it's exciting to see you on this journey. And of course, it's been exciting for fans to see you on the journey of American Idol. Will we, we be seeing you in season four of American Idol? Yes, ma'am, you will. I'm excited. I mean, it's, you know, it's, um, we're gonna have to go with the flow this year because just 2020, you know, we start shooting again in the fall. We'll see what that looks like. Um, but hopefully we can get more eye to eye in, in 2021. Let's all hope.